Could you please leave our house in peace? We all want to pay our condolences to Cece privately. Sorry, Sophia. I got court orders. I stay and my men stay. Don't expect me to leave. After all, Cece was my... Oh, shut up, Gina. Ah. It looks like this has finally taken the wind up of that witch. God help me, I even feel sorry for her. Separated from the man she loved for all these years, and now they'll never be together. You have to admit it's sad. It's time for the children to all pay their last respects individually. Maybe the eldest should go first, Miss. Safely in? Right on schedule. Oh, thank God. Well, we can have a little family only service later on. All we have to do is sneak her up to this room. Mm. You look good, Dad, Dad. I'm impressed. Mason, we pulled off the impossible. <laughs> I just um, never envisioned a world with oh, you in it, Dad. Oh, I know there were those that would say we had a turbulent relationship, but. But I know better, Dad. Oh, I know there were times when you behaved like a pig-headed tyrant. Times when you were so unreasonable that I wanted to strangle you. So many names I never got to call you. So many curses you, you never heard. I know there were those that would say it wasn't an ideal father-son relationship, but maybe it was. And and we just didn't realize it. I only know that when the doctor told me you were gone, some of the light went out of my life. And uh, a lot of the meaning. I'm gonna miss you, Daddy. Always. See, I, I had no idea anyone was here. No, I do think Turn. So. You know, get that awful, bloated, dead look. Like what happened to Elvis when he died. Yeah. You know, I believe you're right. Well, he's out of our lives forever. Oh, I think Dad will always be a presence in our life, Gina. <laughs> you know, you're right. I don't know what to do. I, I loved him almost as much as I hated him. I never wanted this to happen, you know. I never wanted him to die. These are going to be your last words with the old man, so make him count. It seems kind of strange talking to a dead body, especially when he looks so terrible. You just have to imagine that somehow, somewhere, he can hear every word you say. Do you think it's too late to have him cremated? Probably not, but don't let that weigh on your mind, Gina. Talk to him. We are around. I want to see Kelly. Not yet, Sophia. He's around here somewhere. It's too risky. When can I see you? Well, maybe later tonight when his men are asleep or after they've gone. You can't go traipsing down there while he's wandering around the place. I think it's time to give Keith Timmons a piece of my mind. <laughs> well, be careful, all right? Watch my dust. I want you and your henchmen out of my house right now. Sorry, no can do, Blondie. Is there nothing you respect? Not even death? My family is going through hell. 
And you're not even taking the trouble to impersonate a human being. We don't know where my sister is, and even if we did, your goons here are stepping all over our feelings and our property. My, my sister doesn't even have the, the, the chance to give my father's last respects. What else do you want from us? You unfeeling son of a... Hey, hey, hey. Maybe, you know, take care. What did I do? <laughs> I didn't say anything. I didn't... <laughs> I... Why did they react? Is it me? No. Go see how Haley's doing. All right, darling. I I feel now that all the children have paid their respects that we should have a service a little later this evening. That sounds like a good idea. The service is for the family. That means myself and his children, not you. They're not shutting me out of this. No, I think Sophia's absolutely right about this. I, I think it would be inappropriate for you to be there. What are you doing? Are you siding oh, with her? I'm, I'm just sensitive to the situation. There's a dead man in there. It's his home. I, I would like to pay my respects if no one minds. Well, yeah, yes, I certainly do mind. You have no right to be in there. You hardly knew my father, and what he knew of you, he despised. Well, gee, that's <coughs> true, but I knew him long enough to, for my admiration to swell. I, he was a ruthless man, my idol. And I hate to see him pass without my acknowledging uh, You've acknowledged it. I see no reason for you to further desecrate his memory. I forbid your going in there. Well... I have legal permission to go anywhere I damn well please in this house, hmm? coast put all the small mom and pop businesses right out of business but you made a fortune because you own the property that they were buying right then i knew you were my kind of guy you know you'd step on anybody to make a buck and i liked it you're a man of strength That's the reason I went after you and your family with such a passion. Because I admired you so. I mean, you'd do just about anything for your family. Not even sure to die. Yeah, they inherited your strength and conviction, CC. They inherited your cleverness. You know how to realize how clever you all were. But you know, one thing didn't realize is that you're not clever enough not to know that dead men don't register.